Hey guys, I'm going to try and get back. <laughs> that That's all I can say. I am going to try and get back. I want to let you guys know what has happened. I'm not going to sugarcoat what's going on. I apologize. I have pop-ups going up everywhere. I'm trying to fix up my computer, by the way. Shit's been going down, and the f shit, and it hit the fan pretty hard. I don't want to start crying. I just feel like, you know what, I think this is a good time. I feel calm. I should explain to you guys what's been happening. I haven't been on since... I can't even remember. <laughs> and I've been losing a lot of grip on YouTube a lot of the times. Uh this past summer because of how much I had to edit videos. I love doing that, but now I have to do a new software, which is causing me problems because I'm using Blender, and it's difficult to use, and I haven't used it in a long time, so I'm going to have to go back and learning to do the editing and stuff with that. So that's kind of a reason why I haven't been putting out videos as much as I possibly can. Uh... The past, you knew, you guys who have been catching up with me, everybody who has been with me, knew that there have been problems. And the only thing that I have been able to send out was Chronicles of a Demigod. My editing sucks. Number two, my software sucks. Well, it, the old one. Now I'm with Blender, and, well, I don't know how to do it and everything. I'm still trying to learn. So, I'm going to have to go back with learning how to do it, which, please, bear with me. I'm going to be working on the uh, Chronicles of a Divi God newest video. Sorry, I'm just trying to relax and everything. It's been a while. I'm going to try and do the Chronicles of a Divi God with the most recent video that we've done. I'm going to try and get that going. We are still trying to figure out what to do. There's been a lot of us who's, by the way, speaking of which, we're going to go into the Chronicles of a Demigod issue. There hasn't been any post-ups. We haven't done any uh, videos or anything else like that because um, <clears throat> we need to get this previous episode out. And with my issue of editing, number one. And number two, the issue with getting a new job, I'll explain about that later. And with the issue of... Well, there's a lot of us, or a lot of the kids who are younger than I am, who are still in school, high school, are actually very busy during the week. And I am not. And that's usually the best time when I am available. Now I got a new job, I'll explain that again later. Chronicles of a Devi God is pretty much put on hold until everything is worked out at further notice. I just want to put out this video because I promised you guys, and and then all of a sudden, since the last the uh, stuff that happened in a long time, it's um, we're finally getting something out. I have so much stuff that has been doing, as you can see, no progress has been made on my room. I am not moving yet, but we're still working. No progress will be done with my room, by the way, for a long time. Because uh, we have to get going with the uh, the sewing room, which I'm moving to. Our sewing room slash previous computer room, that other, that was actually a storage pigsty, has to be cleaned out. And my god, it is horrible. <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff we have to get going with that, that room, but we're not going to have time with that, because we have so much other issues that have to be done. One of the big things I wanted to announce to you, hopefully I can get this out without becoming a sobbing mess. Give me a moment. <sighs> Sorry, I don't mean to wait for a while. I'm just trying to figure out a way to say this without making me turn into an actual mess. Because this is heartbreaking and true. The reason why I haven't been on, not just with YouTube, actually with Discord. For many of you who have actually been on my Discord server, who haven't been able to hear about this latest news, it's the reason why I haven't been on. <sighs> about a couple of weeks ago, 
February 19, 2009, or 2019, my father passed away. It's hard. Many of you would be able to understand. I just don't want to start crying on the this little segment because it's just... I have been crying for a while. So has most of my family. And we're hoping that the services aren't just going to be, like, miserable. It's supposed to be a celebration of life because that's what my father wanted, was a celebration of life. And he pretty much encouraged me to do a lot of stuff. He encouraged me to do YouTube because, well, the, he says that if you love doing what you love, just do it. See how it goes. Even my mom said the same thing. See how it goes. See how it works. Go for it. See how it does. For three years, we've pretty much been crying. I will be very honest. But now it's like... Something's missing, crying. Something is horribly missing. But many times before, it was like, it was always annoying. Certain things he had said, done. But there were so many times that he's done things that were just wonderful. But, <clears throat> with the, uh, how much I've been doing YouTube, my father, before I, before I really, started stopping to do YouTube. My dad talked to me and he told me, tell me again why you're doing this. I told him it was because it was like doing what my older brother would do, not announcing his name. I promised my big brother I wouldn't go into the whole thing. It was like him playing video games when I was younger. We'd watch and it was fun. This was pretty much how it felt like with me, where I was in my brother's position. And he says, But how does it make you feel? He told me, If you really want to be able to make something good for you, he says, go for it. Do what makes you feel happy. But don't do things that will probably lead you into something you don't want to do for the rest of your life. I've already agreed. This is not my choice of career. As you can tell, my editing sucks. Everything else probably works out in certain times, depending on how things go. I know you guys are going, just cry, or some of you are going, you're faking, but shut up. It's, most of you would understand, losing a loved one is hard, and I just, it's why I have been very absent these past couple of weeks. I really wanted to keep going with YouTube since the previous video that happened before my dad died. He's been feeling sick since then, uh, horribly worse than he usually is, and he went to the hospital, and I kind of stopped doing a lot of YouTube since then. And I kept trying to work on my videos to try and fix everything up with the new editing software, but what my dad told me is, what really makes you feel good? What really is something that makes you feel happy? And I said, in all honesty, <sighs> drawing, writing my story, Chronicles of a Devi God, the one that I want to make. And he says, is there anything stopping you? And I told him, no, I work on it, like when I'm on my break, on smaller things. And he says, keep going on it. Just go, do it, do what you need to do. And he says, you can still make video games, posting it on the internet. But he says, why waste your time editing when your biggest passion is not this. And so, I'm going to try and see what I can do with editing, but I'm only just going to be doing cut and paste. Probably posting some other stuff. I apologize that there's stuff going on downstairs that is just... But, I 
I just wanted to let you guys know. I'm sorry this is carrying on for so long. I just... I wanted to do something, at least, to let you guys know why I have been away. There's a lot more stuff that's going on, you guys probably know from my other previous videos, but I just wanted to announce this without breaking down. In fact, this is all true. <clears throat> just like when Bastion passed away. Except, no offense, boyo, it's bigger. Talking to this book, this picture right there, this picture, but <sighs> we're just going to have to make it through. I will try and edit, but if I don't want to edit anything, it's just going to go up. Everything legit. Thing is also that kind of bugged me was I actually was unavailable at the same time. I think it was his timing. But, uh, Alex, who is actually part of the Col Cobalt thing, replied saying something that kind of hurt a little bit with my editing. Which, of course, I do agree, but it almost felt like he was being a little bit too critical. No offense, I need criticism, but sometimes so you just need to choose your words correctly. And use the right words to talk to me about. Maybe make it seem like, just to let you know, not like, you needed to do this. I know I need criticism. I need proper criticism, but be a little bit lighter on your criticisms, Alex. Um, I, I understand that some things need to be fixed. I have been posting, like, maybe a few episodes of, like, little snippets or trying to of certain snippets of certain episodes of things I've been working on and stuff. I'm going to try and see how things are going to work out with future episodes and see what they do, but I will try and edit if I can. If not, I'm just going to probably throw out a lot of the episodes with what I have that I want to make. I actually am redoing Dishonored, and I'm still doing StarCraft, but I want to keep playing them because I love playing StarCraft, so, or StarCraft and Dishonored, but I'm going to be editing Dishonored. I might just throw out everything with them. Other games. I don't know if that will happen, but I'm also intrigued with playing Brawlhalla with Ashi and Shadow, depending if they want me to join in at some point, but right now I'm just going to have to get back into the training mode and everything because it's been a while, and I just don't want to be stuck in like a mode of where I'm, I've pretty much for the past while been in my bed just watching YouTube videos doing nothing but laying there, writing my story on my phone. Sorry, I'm tapping my foot. And uh, all I've been doing is just sitting in my bed, ta writing on my f typing on my phone, or playing a little game on my phone that I just uploaded, with, which was Tetris because of work, yeah. Um, quick announcement with that. Uh, I'm back at work uh, over at Safeway, but it's now in Castro Valley where I live, by the way, uh, nearby, so, and, uh, yeah, I, um, I'm just trying to breathe right now, guys, so if I don't post anything up, you know why, I just want you guys to have a heads up of what's going on, it, it's hard, please, please, for those of you who understand, Go ahead and write a comment if you want. Sorry for your loss and all that stuff. Those of you who want to be critical, take it somewhere else. My dad just died. I don't need to hear it. And Alex, I, I know you're trying to be nice and everything. And I shouldn't take I should just take what you're saying with a grain of salt, but your timing was actually pretty good though. No 
No offense. It was actually right when my we found out about my dad dying, and I just got the... Well, it actually wasn't exactly. I think it was during around the time when I was kind of mourning. It was somewhere one of those days that you sent me the message that said it, and I was kind of offended by it. But I don't take it offensively now. I just want to let you know it, it's okay. I, I like the good criticisms and everything. I just was affected by it back then, by the way. I, it just it really does hurt me just be a little bit more gentle. Because I know I didn't tell anybody about it, and I only told a couple of people about it because I needed someone to be there for me. But I didn't really, I didn't have much people with me at the time. And the only one that I had really was Shadow, but Shadow was, um, I think he was working or something, I don't know. I didn't want to bug anybody, I just wanted to let somebody know to kind of help me a little bit to help me breathe because it was like when somebody dies you go <clears throat> I forgot how to breathe it hurts it you or it hurts and you don't realize it and there's a lot of ways people take this in so many directions some people actually don't get affected until the services and you realize they're gone I'm sorry for going off on this. It's just... <sighs> it's just... <sighs> it's strong. <sighs> I don't want to start crying. I don't want to start... I don't want to cry again on video anymore. Be mostly for this. Because it just... Lots of things that I do on the series and everything can be legit. Actually are legit. I'm not lying about this. I just, there are times when certain videos come up and something happens and it's terrifying or whatnot. And many people say that I'm fake. Lots of people will say that because you're a beginning YouTuber. But I'm going to just do whatever I can to just play video games and try and find inspiration. I'll do the best I can for you guys. Well, for myself. Not for you guys. No offense. I wanted to do this for you guys, but I have more plans in the future with you guys. I I really wish to make that community that I wanted to happen. A daydreamers community. But one day, we'll just take it one step at a time right now. That's all we can do. And thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry for taking your time away from this almost 20 minutes. But do me a favor, everyone. Just take a deep breath and breathe. And keep on dreaming. Because one day your dreams will come true. Momo.